So my dad gave me this puzzle, <laughs> and as you can see, uh, not much colour in it, just the stone colour and lots of grey in the sky and a bit of green for the grass. Um, so <laughs> if I fold out the poster that came inside, you'll see it's pretty complicated. Um, but thankfully, when I discovered that the pieces come with letters in the back, so uh, I was able to divide the puzzle into the section. A, A being that side, B in the middle, at the top, and C on the side, etc, etc. And then, <laughs> what I had to do with each section, so I had different trays, just tray A, um, this is underneath the box, I think it's tray C, let me check, yeah, tray C. Um, but then, uh, as the time gave, I filled up the puzzle, you can see, getting good progress here. But... The thing is, <laughs> so this is also these are also A's, but what I figured out, there's only two shape, types of shapes of pieces in this puzzle. These ones, and then these ones. But <laughs> for each section, yeah, I've had to <laughs> painstakingly grab each one and just test it. Um, I obviously look for a similar shade of grey, but depending on the lighting, uh, it's either easy to see that or not. But then I just go <laughs> along the line, picking each one, putting it in there and then doing the same with the different pieces but it's taking me so long um, but really good um, I guess life lessons I've been learning along the way so as I was saying I obviously don't do the well first of all I don't do the puzzle in this dark I just had to close the back light so you could actually see my face um, so painstakingly and meticulously I've been putting each piece and you just gotta measure it, I mean put it in really, and then oh, I, I go back and see if the letters align on the back, and if they do, then it's a perfect fit. So that was actually just a good pick up there. Um, and then move on to the next one, but I kind of thought of this, I started, my dad gave me, brought this puzzle for me like, uh, like two weeks ago or something, and then decided to start it last weekend. I did the easy sections, the castle, um, it was easier. Well, I'm so thankful they put the, the, the letters on the back of the pieces. I put all A's that side, B's that side, had different trays. That made it a lot easier. But it made me think of just a quick little life lesson. Because at the beginning of the week, I just wanted to quit. So I was like, God, this is, this is like difficult. Um, and then like I realized I could divide it in sections. But then painstakingly, I put the pieces all out, laid it out, and go one by one, replacing the pieces. And I guess maybe it's a bit of a life lesson you could learn there. I mean, we need patience. That's the thing we always need learn, learning. But also persistence and perseverance. Um, those two things um, we always need to learn. I'm constantly learning that. And then to take on the challenge. And how I took the challenge on was very ordered and structured. I planned it. So first separated the pieces into the trays. Then I laid out the pieces so they easy on the eye. And then just trying one by one. And like in a system, in an order, and just going and finally finding the pieces. And now I've solved this. It's taken time, but maybe sometimes there are bigger things in life that do take time, bigger problems. I mean, this is just a puzzle. This is no matter of life or death. Um, but yeah, just a little thought. Take it or leave it. Um, thank you. And then sometimes you just need to push the pieces in. I've tried to be as meticulous as possible. <laughs> painstakingly taking so much time to do it and then sometimes one or two pieces just don't seem to want to fit in or I miss something along the way, maybe a lack of concentration and then sometimes you just need to wedge things in and just wing it, I guess. Mm -hmm.